Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's explore another powerful things that you can do when using the twin with Unitas. That is, you can run twin synchronously. In the last video, we have been talk about how we can run twin sequentially. Now, let's refer to it to run synchronously. So what do I mean by run synchronously? In here, in this example, I want to move the queue to this destination for 5 seconds. And after this command is finished, I want to rotate the queue to this value for 2 seconds. However, what if I want to move the queue and at the same time rotate it? Let's take a look. First, try to delete the away keyword. Let's see how it's going to work out in the editor. Save it. Let's run. There you go. As you can see, for two first seconds, the queue will both rotate and run at the same time. But after the two seconds is gone, it's no longer rotate and just move to the destinations as a result. So far so good. However, what if I want to execute code after both this twin be finished in a normal way? which is you surprising the callback method to the twin. It get really messy because you have to check both of those twins to see if both of them are finished. However, with a scene ways in this case, we're using Initas. It's gonna get much simpler and much cleaner. Let's take a look. First, I will initialize an init task. Let's rename it to move task. Same as rotating. Rotate task. Right now, I will changes to unit task. Remember, to use this extension method, you need to have the simple unit task to twin support enable. To understand how to set up this, please watch my video about how we can use to twin with unit task. Now, we're gonna initialize an unit task array contain both of these tasks. Unit task task equal new unit task and we're gonna pass move task and rotate task. This is where the magic is coming. We will use a powerful technique, and that is called it with us. That's when all we will first of all assign the it with us. Let's call it when all equals pass. In task dot when o there you go and we gonna pass this task after that we can just await it so the logic here is we're gonna initialize the move task and rotate task at the twinning process of the two twin and do move. Then we're gonna initialize an event task array, then pass the arrays to the event task that's went all. So this is the power of the ASCII await when using with event task. The logic of your code is you can execute the further calls as long as the event task is finished. We are not gonna surprise to the callback or run any coroutines. We can just await this to be finished. 
and I will mention that you will need to have the async keyword here. Please remember this. So if the score is correct, after the queue is being moved and rotated at the same time, it will log in the complete message here. Let's take a look at the editor. There you go. It's logging the complete message here. As you can see, when you're using the Unitas approach, your code is so clean, it's decorative. You initialize it, you copy it, and you pass it to the when or method. You don't need to surprise to the callback function. You don't need to initialize any Boolean state value. And it just work. And that is the power of using Unitas with Dutrin. Another cool thing I want to show you guys is nothing gonna stop you from surprising the onComplete method to the Dutrin as normal. You can just dot on complete and we gonna lock like for example debug dot lock. I will call finish rotating. There you go. You can do this and your course will run normally. Your task doesn't retrieve you from anything. So in here, after it's finished rotating, if you lost it meshes. But after it's finished both move task and rotate task, it will lock the complete method here. Let's take a look at the editor. It's gonna finish rotating and it's gonna print now. And after it's moved to the destination, it will lock complete. So you can actually do this with Imitas without breaking anything and that is why using Imitas with Dutin is very very powerful. And another thing is that instead of using on complete callback, we can do this in Imitas way. Let's take a look. I will select these sentences, click refactor extra extra method and I will call this move task there you go it will returning the twinning methods of moving now in here I will using continuate method it will take an action as a parameter and if you execute that function after we finish moving with Unitas. I'm sorry, moving with Dutri. For example, I will log in. Finish. Moving, let's see. Okay. So, after it's finished moving, it will lock moving here. And after it's finished rotating, it will lock rotating here. Let's take a look. Finish rotating, lock the message. And when it finish moving, it will lock in the finish moving message. And let's not forget. It will lock the complete message here because we have awaited for all those tasks to be finished. So, the when methods also support you with scalability. In this year, I only have two tasks that is, move tasks and rotate tasks. However, what if I want another task? I want the queue to both moving, rotating, and for example, scaling at the same time. Can I do that in a clean way? Of course we can. 
we will initialize another task. Let's call it scale task. Q dot to scale. Call it new vector three, two by two by two for like three seconds. And we're gonna use the two in the task method. And right here, we can just start scale task in here. And if we execute those code normally, without changing anything, I don't have to use any boolean variables. I don't have to use any stack at all. It just works. A synovist method is so great. Let's see in Unity. We scale, yeah, we scale, and we finish rotating, and we finish moving, and it's locking complete. Anything looks perfect. So, this is the end of my video. If you like it, please click the like button and subscribe, and share to your friends as well. I suggest you using Unitas with Dutrin as soon as possible. Have a good day.